Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio video. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me and uh, this is just going to be a shorter kind of fun uh, video in regards to some, some news and some expectations and hopes I have for features that uh, may be coming in the next Factorio update which is going to be uh, update 1.1 and uh, I do want to just say that some of these uh, things, really only one of these things is actually confirmed uh, and the others, some of them are things I'm just kind of expecting based on what I've seen and information I've seen. And then others are things I'm just hoping for that there's no confirmation of yet. Uh, so I don't want you to, to take some of these, really any of these as facts, except for the first one I'm going to mention, which is there's going to be a lot of bug fixes. Uh, in the last Friday Facts, uh, Friday Facts number 360, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that talked about the 1.0 launch, uh, they talked about update 1.1. There was no, no time frame really given for it uh, or anything like that. Uh, they plan to take a break and then, you know, re release that. And uh, one thing they did confirm is it will include a bunch of bug fixes to just make the game even more polished. Uh, un unbeknownst to me, they, they mentioned that there there was actually, uh, that there is actually a quite large number of bugs still in the game and unresolved bug reports on the forums. I say unbeknownst to me because I, I couldn't tell. The game does not play that way. I've had zero issues with it whatsoever for really probably the last year now, uh, unless I'm playing with mods, which then of course is to be expected. Um, speaking of mods, this here is just a, a mod. This is um, from a mod I, I use on my stream uh, that I, I didn't really bother turning off. It's completely relevant to what we're talking about. Um, and it's doesn't, I don't think it really interferes that much, but that's what that is. Um, so uh, that that's one thing that, that we can kind of confirm, and I do very much expect to be in 1.1 release, is a bunch of bug fixes. If you are having issues of some sort, uh, it's very likely it'll be fixed. Uh, I hope you aren't, though. Uh, something I saw just a couple days ago on the subreddit, though, this is something that I both really hope and now kind of expect to be in 1.1. And... Uh, I'm going to drag, so I'm on screen capsule right now, I'm going to drag over uh, my browser screen to show you this and then probably move it back over um, as I show you something in game. Uh, but this first thing here that I want to show you, this is, um, this is something that was posted on the Reddit and someone said, tip, today I learned that Factorio has a map alt mode in F4 debug menu. So if you don't know, you can access the debug menu with just the F4 key and there's all these things you can check to show basically always uh, and there's a setting right here that says show recipe icons on map and this is what it does so it's basically uh the alt mode the advanced info mode that you would normally just see uh you, you know in game like this uh it's that but for um map view and this is a debug option so this is not something that's like normal that you can like mess around with in normal settings and really isn't meant to be on uh which that's nothing really new however uh, Corex, being the lead developer, the, the owner of Ruby, the company who makes Actorio, come in and said, just wait for 1.1. So this could be just a complete joke, tease that has no meaning whatsoever, and I, I do want to just throw that out there. That is entirely possible. However, in the past, the devs have been known to uh, throw out spoilers or simply basically just say, the, yeah, like, you know, just wait, this is basically coming. <laughs> Uh, you know, sometimes they're joking, but sometimes uh, in the past this has been a thing where they're just like, uh, just wait until this update and it's out in that update. So uh, I feel like maybe uh, just because, you know, they're still trying to, while well, 1.0 is the quote unquote, you know, full release um, or at least release after early access, I do think uh, they are very much still trying to polish some things and just make the game even better if they can, uh, not necessarily to the full extent they were i think it's in a very completed state personally um but uh, you know they always want to add more which is fantastic so it would not surprise me if we do see uh the ability to do this or something similar to this through an actual setting or hotkey without having to do it through the debug settings um so this is really neat and i've just gone in my game here and i've enabled it just to show you um in a very little example here so this is really nice it can get slightly cluttered i imagine if they do introduce it in a more fluid way uh, it would maybe be a bit cleaner, probably less performance heavy. I'm imagining it probably is quite performance heavy right now. Uh, but yeah, so just to show you in game, you hit F4. Uh, you are in this menu and you scroll all the way down. And it's this thing right here. And you can uncheck it or check it. Now that I've unchecked it, we don't have these. And that's the that's the default state of the game. Uh, of course, the, the uh, 
in view, character view here does still show these. So uh, that's something I'm kind of expecting now in 1.1 and actually really hoping for because I think that's just, uh, if they can do it in a clean way, not super performance heavy way, um, I think that's something that would actually really add to the game. Uh, so of course, something you can toggle on and off easily with a hotkey um, or, or a setting through your actual settings menu. Um, but I think that would just make things easier to distinguish if you're in map view a lot, like in huge mega bases, and it would just be, I think it'd be really cool. Uh, so there's that. Um, something else that I am both hoping for and expecting, there's been no confirmation uh, specifically for this, uh, but there have been things that would just lead me to uh, come to this conclusion, is a updated rework of the assembling machine graphics. So for basically the throughout the entire 0.18 update before 1.0 came out, uh, they were working on polishing uh, all the icons in the game, all the sprites, the graphics in the game, the animations in the game. And, uh, you know, this included things like refineries and chemical plants, uh, these. So if you're new to the game, uh, first off, welcome. I hope you're hope you're having a great time and enjoying it. And uh, and really look forward to see see what's coming here. But uh, these these did not always used to be like that. This one basically did. Uh, I think maybe they just made this high res. There wasn't a huge update. Um, but this, the chemical plant did not used to look like this. It looked similar, but not nearly as fancy. It didn't have great animations like it does now. Uh, however, the assembling machine is something that this, this has basically not changed for like years. It is high res, but the actual graphic of it has not changed for literally years. Um, and this is such a staple in the game and something that did not get the uh, graphical rework before 1.0, even though they said it was going to. So they have, they, they previously did say they were working on it. So we have that confirmation and they basically just said that it wasn't going to be done in time for 1.0. Uh, and again, they ha I, I don't want to, you know, give misleading facts. I haven't said specifically it's coming in 1.1, uh, but that would be something I would kind of expect and very, very much hope for uh, just because they never said it was canceled. They just said, you know, we've been working on it and it's just not going to be done in time for the 1.0 release. Uh, and, you know, just to maybe see a little bit of a hint here, uh, th these are tech icons, uh, the rework tech icons. And this looks very similar, but I'm wondering if perhaps the rework may look uh, like a more fleshed out version of this tech icon. Perhaps, uh, you know, it's very similar, but <clears throat> it is more detailed, a little bit more open, uh, or maybe something completely different. I don't know. But these are just my expectations, kind of my speculations. And uh, I really do hope that that's included. And I had this Friday Facts open just uh, kind of as a reference and uh, to, you know, show that they did say they're are 150 bugs on the forums and 80 tasks to be solved, and that's kind of their plan for 1.0, or 1.1, sorry. Uh, and the last thing I want to just touch on here, and this, uh, again, disclaimer, there has been absolutely no mention of this from the devs, okay? I, I'm not putting words in their mouth. I'm not making stuff up. This is just purely uh, my hope. In fact, this is a, maybe it's a very, very slight expectation, uh, just in terms of being a quality of life thing, and we kind of follow the same direction they went with this. Uh, but mostly it's just a hope. And that is for the Spider-Tron, the new late game vehicle they added in 1.0, which is fantastic, um, to give it the ability to request items. So uh, the devs, uh, Spider-Tron has kind of just been a, a joke, a meme for a long time. It was teased a very long time ago and then basically just abandoned. They, they literally just basically said multiple times it wasn't going to happen. And they threw it in here and it's really better in almost every way than uh, I think a lot of people even hoped for. Uh, it's fantastic, and one of the things that makes it fantastic is it can act as a as a basically a mobile RoboPort because it has a grid, an equipment grid, much like your power armors will. So you can put personal RoboPorts in here, and it will build and, and can use construction robots uh, just as you can with your uh, power armor and personal RoboPorts, um, and that's really nice because you can control these. You you know you can take your uh, remote here, and uh, you can you know, program it and then send it somewhere. And it can basically just be a remote blueprint builder, which is fantastic or tree clear or rail builder or whatever you want. Um, however, the thing that's lacking is the ability to actually uh, get those items automatically to build the blueprints. Uh, it has a trunk, of course, uh, but you basically have to just manually put things in here. There's no way to actually request anything. And to the best of my ability, I cannot even get a requester chest to work. And that's just due to how Spidertron itself is set up because the uh, one of the main features of Spider-Tron is that it can traverse over 
structures and obstacles and basically everything. Uh, it can literally just walk over your entire factory. So it kind of makes sense that you can't really even insert into it. You know, it, it just, if I just try to move it a little closer here so that the inserter technically is over the hitbox and I stick items in here, uh, it, it won't actually, you know, this does have power as well. Uh, it, it won't actually do anything. So unless I'm missing something uh, without mods, uh, there are some mods that have added kind of the ability to have it request items, but I think is a vanilla thing to just kind of flesh it out and complete the direction they were going with this, which I think is an ingenious direction in the first place to be able to have it be like a mobile uh, blueprint builder or remote blueprint builder uh, type of thing. Um, I think just to complete that out is the ability to actually give it like kind of an internal requester chest um, or like personal requester slots, just like your player. Uh, so there we go. That's that's kind of the last thing again. So there's been no confirmation of this whatsoever. Uh, it's just something that I would very much hope they would, uh, you know, maybe maybe add and, and just go in that direction to kind of complete the, you know, the the circle of, of, of what they're trying to achieve here. Um, so there we go. Those are the those are the things uh, the th kind of four things that the bug report that the bugs are like completely confirmed. That's the main uh, point of 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, and I would say the, uh, you know, icons and map view are potentially fairly confirmed, uh, or maybe just a complete joke. Um, and then the assemblers, I would expect in, in such just based on the prior information we had. And then this uh, is just something I'm really hoping for. Uh, so there we go. I just thought this would be fun, kind of share my thoughts, maybe, you know, give you guys some extra information you weren't aware of. You know, if you don't read the Reddit a lot, you maybe didn't even see that post in the comment by Kovrex. Uh, maybe you weren't aware of the assembly machine stuff before the release, especially if you're new to the game. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable and interesting. And uh, I would love to hear down below. Leave your, your thoughts of, of uh, things that maybe you hope to be in 1.0, uh, you know, realistically or expect. Or, or if there's something I forgot or, or didn't touch on. Maybe for all I know, maybe you can insert into this. <laughs> and I'm just missing something. But, uh, but yeah, so... Leave your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for all kinds of other Factorio content, uh, tutorials and Let's Plays and such and other news. So take care. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And bye-bye.